In northeastern Minnesota, the Department of Natural Resources is using a helicopter to capture and radio collar 100 moose to determine why this iconic species is in decline. This is one of the most extensive moose mortality studies ever conducted. Information from high-tech equipment that tracks moose movement and health functions will help wildlife managers as they weigh future management options. We could guess, you know, is it, is it habitat, is it deer, is it predation, is it a combination of factors, is it disease related to, you know, to white-tailed deer, is it disease related to climate change? We just don't know. So until we have a better understanding of why animals are dying, we can't really make any definitive changes in management. DNR researchers work quickly and efficiently to gather the information necessary while minimizing the impact on the moose. You're very respectful, very quiet, you know, very, you know, you're trying to do your job in the quickest but, and safest way possible, trying to minimize mortality, minimize injuries, because, you know, you're doing something traumatic. You're darting an animal from a helicopter, then you're spending 30 minutes with that animal doing a variety of things. So you're real, real aware of what you're doing, but it's still, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's special. Every, you never get tired of it. You know, every, every moose that I've done or every animal that I've interacted with, you have the same feeling. You know, you never, hopefully you never lose that. While a captured moose is temporarily sedated, it is fit with a high-tech GPS collar that will track the animal's movement. We have some amazing technology on board. We have uh, some really awesome GPS collars that essentially have uh, the equivalent of a cell phone inside of them. And they essentially will tell us when the animal dies, they will send the team of responders a text message that says the animal has died and with the location of where we can find it at. Um, this has never been done before um, in the United States. Also, researchers are putting a second device in the digestive tracts of about 27 moose. If the device senses that the moose's heart has stopped beating, the implant will instruct the GPS collar to notify researchers via a text message. DNR researchers hope to have some answers within the next couple of years as to why the moose population is declining in northeastern Minnesota. This is Steve Carroll reporting.